Okay, well then. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing an unboxing of my Ipsy and my Allure Beauty box from July of 2019. I guess I'm going to put them kind of head to head and see which one I like the best and what items I like in each box. And I've never done a video like this, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Okay, so the first box I'm going to do is my Ipsy, and I think I'm going to do my Allure last just because I tend to like that one a little bit better. I don't know, I guess I'm just a little partial to the Allure Beauty Box, but I do really like Ipsy, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what I got. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, Ipsy is $10 a month. I just have the regular subscription. I know they have like a premium one now, but I just have the regular. What I do do though is every month before they ship out your your bag or your box, whatever you want to call it, they send you an email where you can select either full size or sample size products that you can include for additional price. So you can get a full size product um, for $12 or sample sizes for $3 and they have like a whole list of stuff you can pick from. So I typically find like a sample that I'm interested in or that looks interesting to me and I usually buy one or two of the sample sizes in my box or my bag typically ends up being about 14 to 16 dollars depending on if i find anything that month and i think that when i do that it kind of takes it up to be on a more even playing field with the allure beauty box just because i tend to notice that the allure beauty box is more high end um, especially compared to ipsy but we'll get into that in a little bit but let's go ahead and see what i got this month so i will save the card for after I'm done pulling out all the products. Um, so it is a really cute bag this month. I really like it. It's nice. It's like a faux leather, so it won't get dirty when I put it in my bag, but it's just this pink and green palm tree. Okay, so the first item I'm pulling out here looks like a nail polish. It's color, I think it's color club. Is that what it is? But it is just a nail lacquer in the color Miss Robinson. And the box looks like that. Ooh, wow, look at that. I love that purple, it's so vibrant. I don't know if it's even gonna pick up on camera how bright and vibrant that is, but it's like a fluorescent purple color. It actually looks more pink on camera, but it's extremely purple. I don't know if you can tell like the difference between the two. Wow, they look really similar on camera. But this one's like definitely more purple in real life or in person. But that is so pretty. I love purples, especially right now in the spring and the summer. So the next product I'm pulling out, I actually recognize as one of the extras that I bought. So I paid three extra dollars for this on top of my $10 for the bag. But it is a uh, Ciate. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. I know they do. I, I knew them first for nail polishes, so I thought it was cool when I saw this. And I'm needing a new highlighter, so I wanted to try this one out. Um, it's Glow 2 Highlighter, and uh, let me see if I can find a shade, in Moondust. So it's the Glow 2 Highlighter in Moondust, and it comes in like a little sample pan. It is like a full-size like pan, but it comes in this, so you could attach it into like a magnetic palette if you want to. It just looks like that. It's like a champagne-y, pinky highlighter. Let me see if I can, yeah, you can kind of see that. But yeah, I have actually already tried this. I put it on today. Um, it's probably faded a little bit because I did my makeup a while ago, but it is really nice. It's soft. It's a little chalky almost, a little drier than I guess ideal, but it's not bad. It's really nice and it does last a long time and it doesn't, it comes off really pretty. It doesn't look too pink, which I'm glad about because I have pretty fair skin. So yeah, I actually really like that. I have tried this one already, but um, yeah, I, I really like it and it was definitely worth the $3. Anyway, the next product I'm going to pull out here is, um, it looks like a bronzer or no, it's an eyeshadow by The Balm. And it just looks like that. It's called What's the Tea Hot Tea Eyeshadow Mini Warm Shade. It says it's infused with chamomile. And I'm not seeing a shade name. I don't know. But it's just this um, 
nice cool tone brown, which I really like because I use a ton of. But yeah, it's just a really cute and like a little teacup shape. Small size, but I guess for an eyeshadow, that's actually a pretty good size. I think I will get uh, plenty of use out of that. Just a nice chocolate brown. Pretty though. So the next product I'm gonna pull out of here is, it's called the Cotton Candy Blusher by Phase Zero Makeup. And the outside of the box looks like that. And I did look at these before. Oh my goodness, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna film this video or not, so I went ahead and opened them. And this packaging, I, oh my God, I hope I don't have as much, oh, finally. I have had more trouble opening this than anything I've ever tried to open before. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the mirror. But it just looks like that, a nice um, matte pink. Go ahead and swatch it to see if it'll show up. It's not really gonna, just right there. Um, it's nice, it's matte. It does have good pigmentation and it blends out really well. I use this one as well. But yeah, just nice. It, um, let me see if it comes with a shade name. I don't see a shade name for this one either, unless I'm just missing it. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much of anything as far as name goes, unless it would be like cotton candy, but I don't think it is. No, I don't think so. So I don't know. I don't know what shade it is. If anybody knows or if I'm just missing it, let me know. But yeah, I like it. It's not, um, it's not anything spectacular. I don't think, but it's nice and I will use it. So can't really complain. That is one thing about Ipsy that I do really like is that it's makeup forward. It's like, as far as the Allure Beauty Box, it's more skincare. Ipsy tends to be more makeup, which is probably why I keep both of them because I get makeup from one and skincare from the other. And the bags are just so cute. I use them for so much. I put them in my purse or in my go bags and put little stuff in them. And I think the bag alone is worth a good chunk of what I pay for the bag itself or for the, you know, just for all of it itself. Anyway, the last product in the bag, I think that's the last. Yeah, the last product that came in the bag, but I'm pretty sure there's another product in here. I'm dropping stuff left and right. Anyway, yeah, like I said, the last product in the bag is here, but there is another one that was too big to fit in the bag itself, so there is another product in here. I'll go ahead and pull it out just so that it's, oh my goodness, I dropped something else. Anyway, the next product that was, the last product that was in the bag itself is this Smashbox lip, I'm pretty sure it's a, like, um, yeah, it's a always-on liquid lipstick, and... It is in the shade Babe Alert. I really love this because this is like right up my alley. This is exactly, wow, that was a big swatch. This is like exactly the shade that I tend to go for. Um, it really, it kind of reminds me of a My Lips But Better kind of shade. I really like it. Um, I have tried it and I'm not wearing it right now, but it looks really good, but it does get a little dry to the point where not long after I put it on, I get kind of like that feeling in like the corners of my mouth where I feel like I just want to put like a lip gloss over it or a lip balm or something just because it's so dry. Um, I think I'm spoiled by the NYX um, matte lip creams, I think they're called, because those are awesome. They dry really matte and they don't get dry on your lips. I digress, but this one is still really nice. It lasts a while. The only complaint I have, like I said, is just that it feels a little dry on, but the color itself is really nice and it does seem to last pretty well. So I do recommend it and I do like it and I will use it. And I love getting lip products the size, like this size, because they fit really well in my purse so I can always keep them in there and use them on the go. So I really do like this one, despite the slight drying, I'll just put like a lip gloss on over top of it or whatever. But yeah, I like this one. And like I said, it's by Smashbox. And then the last product in the Ipsy bag is this, um, the coffee scrub, and it is in the French vanilla. 
And it says here, sexy skin is just a scrub away. It says, I'm filled with antioxidants, minerals, and essential oils, which help neutralize the effects of aging, drying, and dead skin. Each of my ingredients work together to moisturize, exfoliate, and protect you from residual dirt and damage. And it just says you use about two small handfuls to cover your body with circular motions, massage to scrub on your skin, concentrating on problem areas. Then you leave it on for five to 10 minutes and you rinse it off. And I'm excited to try this because I actually use like just regular coffee grounds in the shower if I really want to get exfoliating, like if I'm going to self tan or something like that. I tend to get um, coffee grounds just because I know that the caffeine is supposed to be good for like cellulite and stuff like that. And I just like the way it makes my skin feel. So I'm excited to try this. I don't know how long it's going to last. I think it might just be like one or two uses, but I think it'll be really nice. I'm excited to open it and see what it smells like because I think it'll smell pretty good. Okay, so now that I'm reading the card that it comes with, it down the line it goes the Smashbox Cosmetic Always On Lipstick in Babe Alert, the Coffee Scrub in French Vanilla, the Nail Polish, where did I put that? Oh, right here. The Nail Polish in Miss Robinson, and I was correct the blush color was in cotton candy which i'm surprised about because it's such like a it looks like it's almost like the product line name but yeah it is in cotton candy and then the balm cosmetics eyeshadow was in the shade ooh la la so that is the brown shade like i said and then like i said i've got the Siete highlighter as an extra so I paid the three dollars and I got that extra but I do think it was worth it because I really do like it and um, yeah I think I'll get a lot of use out of it so yeah that was all of the stuff that came in my ipsy including the extras that I bought myself so let's go ahead and open the birch box and then nope it's not birch box I've been doing that a ton let's go ahead and open the allure beauty box and see what items I got in there and then we can kind of compare them and I can talk to you about which one I like best or which one I'm most excited to try. Um, not that I haven't tried some of them. I'm too impatient to wait like that but anyway I'll go ahead and talk about what my favorites are and what I'm most excited to try. Okay so this month was um, Allure teamed up with Huda Beauty which is pretty cool so it says it right there on the front of the box. This is how it comes in the mail. And then you open it up and this is what you see. I definitely have to give it to Allure for like their packaging because while yes, like I love the pink bubble mailer from Ipsy and I love the bag. I don't know, it's just so beautiful to open this up. I really enjoy it. Um, so let's go ahead, I'm gonna set this down. The first thing right on top, before I get into it, I actually wanna mention um, like I said earlier, I pay $15 for the Allure Beauty Box, like 15 and some change after tax. And I, I really like the Allure Beauty Box. It's probably the one I've had the longest and been the most loyal to just because I've stayed consistently happy with it the whole time I've had it. And it's definitely worth the price. Um, I feel like they're always putting new things in. I feel like with Ipsy and like I used to get Birchbox and I feel like with them you kind of get a lot of repeat brands or a lot of repeat products especially when I got both Ipsy and Birchbox I felt like I was seeing a lot of the same repeat products and the same repeat brands but I feel like with um, Allure Beauty Box I get a really good mixture of brands I've never heard of a lot of high-end brands like Huda Beauty and I'm I don't know I'm just extremely happy with it I recommend it to everybody if they're looking for like a beauty box or a subscription box to invest in, I definitely always recommend the Allure Beauty over any of them because it has been my favorite for a long time now. And yeah, I, I think this, they've recently, they used to come in like a red box, but um, they have since changed to like, um, like, a, like a plasticky see-through bag. They come in different colors every month, but this one is hot pink, super cute. So anyway, the first product right on top is an Allure, it says Alluring, and it looks like there is a, yep, it looks like a liquid lipstick. Let me go ahead and take the packaging. The packaging is super cute on this. Definitely very cute. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this lipstick out. 
Oh, and there it says Huda Beauty loves allure. So yeah, it looks like a liquid lipstick and the packaging is so cute. It's in like a frosted glass bottle and it's definitely full size, which is awesome. So I think that is like the first full size other than the nail polish product I've gotten today. I will go ahead and this I have not touched yet. I have not tried any of the products in the Allure one. I got the Ipsy one a couple days ago and I just got the Allure today. So that's why I kind of couldn't wait with the Ipsy. But it is just a really, it looks like a bright red. Let me go ahead and wow. Oh my God, it smells so good. Like I could smell that from here. It smells like, what is that? Is that vanilla or? I think it's vanilla. I could be wrong, but it smells like vanilla to me. And it is just that really bright, like warm toned orangey red, very beautiful. And it kind of reminds me of the color of the Allure box that it used to come in, like Allure Signature Red, which I think is really cool. It's called a liquid matte. Let me see, it says, it's a long lasting and comfortable matte liquid lipstick with intense pigmentation, um, helps to maintain lip hydration and no transfer. And it is in the shade Alluring. So Alluring, Alluring, Alluring. So yeah, like I said, on the outside of the box. But yeah, smells really good. Like I said, I've never tried it, so I don't know if it's really transfer proof or hydrating or anything like that, but I could only hope. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. I am excited about that. That's so cute, I love that packaging. Okay, so I am going to jump right into the bag itself now. That was the only product that was not in the bag itself. So the first thing right on top here is the, <laughs> I have no idea what that brand would be. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna try. But yeah, that's what it is. O-U-A-I, hair care. It's a texturizing hairspray. And it says like dry, sh like dry shampoo and hairspray had a baby. This ultra lightweight hairspray that builds incredible volume and texture packed with volcanic minerals to absorb oil and refresh hair. So yeah, it's like a dry shampoo and hairspray in one like texturizing spray. I feel like that's kind of all texturizing sprays, but it looks really nice. Let me, ooh. Ooh, it smells like a hair salon, like that smell that every hair salon has when you walk in that's like exactly what this smells like so i'm excited actually let me just go ahead and spray my hair I'm trying not to disturb my mic too much because i know that's annoying oh i can feel the grit in my hair um oh wow like i can see the texture oh wow I have um, pretty coarse textured hair already. Not really coarse, it's just thick and it has a lot of its own texture. So I have to watch sometimes with texturizing sprays because it makes my hair kind of tangly and knotty. Not that I'm supposed to be running my fingers through it if I'm trying to add like texture and stuff, but it has like that, like I said, that typical hair salon smell, which I kind of like. Some people might not like that, but I kind of like it. I don't know how good of a dry shampoo it actually is because I just put some dry shampoo in so I don't really have a lot of visible oil. But as a texturizing spray, I like it and I think it's good for when I um, kind of wave my hair like this just so that it holds it a little bit better. But yeah, I actually really like that and I'll probably use that a lot. So the next product I'm gonna pull out of here, let's just grab one. Looks like a perfume sample, which I'm excited about because I feel like I haven't gotten a perfume sample from either brand in a while. Um, so it's, it looks like it's K Alley, K Alley, yeah. And it says vanilla 28 right there. And it's 1.5 milliliters or 0 0.03 fluid ounces, which is pretty typical for a sample size. Um, it's, looks like this when you open it up. Pretty decent size, normal for a, um, a sample, but it has its own sprayer, which I really like because a lot of samples just have like the dip wand or just a lid itself and you have to kind of rub it. But I'm glad that it has a spray. I love putting stuff like this in my purse or in my go bag because I can just carry it with me. And it says it's vanilla orchid, tonka, absolute, brown sugar, amber woods, and musk. Sounds like something that is right up my alley. I love vanilla, warm scents. Oh, I want to smell this. 
Oh, a little stronger first. <coughs> oh, it smells really good though. I just made the mistake of spraying it and then like immediately breathing in. <coughs> but no, it's really nice. It is warm and like it is kind of musky, but it's not like a, it's not like as musky as like a Chanel number no. five or something like that. It's like a sweet but sophisticated kind of scent. I really like it and I will definitely be putting that in my bag and it just fell on my floor. I will get that later, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the next product out of here. Oh, it is by Benefit and it is called Cabral and it is the mini and it says it's rich buildable color i'll go ahead and open it for you guys too in a second but that's what it looks like um it says builds from natural looking to dramatic 24 hours and waterproof um, pull out brush from cap glide across cream gel and stroke in a tiny amount on brows and stroke a tiny amount on brows so yeah let's go ahead and open it I'm pretty sure this is one that I actually got to vote on. They sent me an email with three products and I got to rank like one to three, which I prefer best, like first, second, and third. And I'm pretty sure this is one that I ranked first because I I love Benefit Brow products. I love the Gimme Brow. I have that and use it. I actually got that one in an Allure box um, maybe a month or two ago. And I really love that. I had it a while ago and just never repurchased it because I'm more of like a powder and an angle brush kind of girl with my brows because I really don't I have a lot of my own brow I don't really need a like a serious brow product but I love the benefits because they're always natural and their color always matches my eyebrows really well so anyway this is what the product itself looks like and it said to pull the brush out oh it's a nice nice angled brush and then you unscrew the cap and it is in like a like a, like I said, a brown that looks like it would match my eyebrows really well. Okay, I'm gonna try to dip it in here. <laughs> and I guess I will. Ooh, that picked up a lot more than I expected it to on just that little bit in. Um, so yeah, like I just put it in just a little bit the first time and it pulled out that much product. So that's good to know that it goes a long way. But yeah, I mean, it looks like something that I would use and I'm excited to try it out because um, I used to really love brow gels. That used to be like my go-to, but it's been a while since I tried one and I'm really excited to try this because I've never tried a gel from Benefit in this kind of container. Okay, so the, looks like the second to last product I'm going to pull out, kind of very exciting. I just saw a peek of it. And it looks like they are some eyelashes. And I have never gotten eyelashes in any beauty box I've ever gotten before. Um, they are in the Samantha Number no. 7 Classics from Huda Beauty. Has the Huda, Be Huda, has the Huda Beauty on the back. Again, it's just the Samantha Number no. 7. I'm going to pull it out. I wish that they came with like a, like a glue that they recommend using. I have my own, but... I would have liked to get something that they would recommend with them, but they look, they're so full. Let me see if I can open this so you can get a better look at them. Nope, no glue. There's like an instruction pamphlet on how they apply them in the back, but that's what they look like. Beautiful, very full, very fluffy. They look very flirty. Um, I don't wear a lot of false lashes. I have pretty long eyelashes already. Um, I used to wear them a lot more like when I was in high school and my mom used to always give me crap, at, crap about it. So, um, I don't know. I haven't, I don't wear them a whole lot. I think I wore them to my brother's wedding was like the last time I wore them, but I'm like really excited to try these. I hope they don't look like too crazy on me. I feel like that's a lot of lash, but I'm really excited to try them out. Yeah, so I'll have to like maybe put these on and film a video in them so you guys can see them one day. And then the last product in the bag, oh, and like I said, look at this cute bag. You can like tuck this little flap down in this strip and it like holds it in place. I love this because you can see through it. Again, I'm like a sucker for little like makeup bags like this, 
especially ones that are big enough to hold brushes like these ones like these ones are long enough to hold brushes that's another thing about allure i get a ton of brushes like i think um nope that one i got from ipsy is an extra but i got both of these in um the last couple months just in the last couple months from allure this one is an elizabeth mott all over shadow brush this pink one here and then this really cute like swirl one um it says moda but yeah it's just like a blender brush super super soft and it blends really well i'm digressing again but i get some of the coolest stuff in my lore boxes i really recommend it and i'm not trying to like shade ipsy i i continue to get it every month for a reason because i enjoy the products i get and i feel like i enjoy the makeup that i do get from them and i use it it's makeup that i use which is why i keep it it's stuff that i don't just sit in a drawer and never touch so i i do really like ipsy but i like if i had to pick just one it would definitely be the allure beauty box 10 times over i love it so much Oh crap. This is like not sponsored in any way at all. I mean, I would be down to be sponsored by Allure, but I I just, I really love their products and their service and all of it. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, the last product in my Allure Beauty Box is this Tony Moly. Tony Molly. Let me see if I can get that to not blind you. Anyway, it's an Intense Care Gold 24 Karat Snail Hydro Gel Mask. And it looks like from the back that it is a sheet mask, which is awesome. And I've always wanted to try like a 24 karat gold mask. I've seen them all over the place and all on YouTube. And I've just never like, I don't know, had the urge to buy them. I, I get other masks from my boxes or I buy just random masks at like the drugstore or whatever. But Oh, and I have some Glam Glow masks that I really enjoy too, but I've never tried a gold one and I've never tried a snail mask, which I've heard some interesting things about. So I'm actually really excited to try this. So I'll have to update you guys on this as well. Maybe I'll toss it in a favorites video or maybe I'll like, I don't know if I could keep this for like an empties. Like, would that be weird to keep just like the package for an empties video? I have been saving products for an empties video, so if you guys would want to see something like that, you should let me know because I'll probably end up filming it anyway, but I'd like to know if you guys would be interested in seeing it. Anyway, yeah, I'm really excited about that. A nice sheet mask. Might put that on after I take my makeup off. These studio lights are hot. <laughs> and it has been like, like I think the temperature today was like 93, but the real feel was like 103 degrees. It's super humid where I am. I live in Maryland and it's just so hot outside right now so i think something like this will be really nice and i can't wait to try it so let me go ahead and pull out what else comes in here this is the only thing i really did kind of look at in the box they send you like a a sneak peek of i guess this would be the august box so there's just some products on there that will might be in my next month's box and then they also put in here a coupon for I guess Huda Beauty yeah it's for shophudabeauty.com and it's a 25% off coupon there's a code on the back so I'm not going to show you that just so that if I am interested in using it I can and you guys don't use it before I can but yeah that's really cool so I get 25% off hudabeauty.com awesome so that was also in there oh I have dropped just about everything today. So then the um, next thing that comes in it, I guess some people might read this first. I like to read this last just because I like to look at the products first. And then um, one thing I like about Allure is um, like Ipsy, it comes with the card. I think let me grab it. It comes with the card and it gives you like tips on how to use them or how they like to use them and just like a brief description of it but with allure it's like a whole little booklet and each page is talking about a product and every product is picked specifically by their editors um so this one so like it tells you in here that the huda beauty lip matte the matte liquid lipstick 
is an Allure Beauty Box exclusive, which is really cool. And then in here, it talks about why they picked the lashes or why they love this fragrance. And um, yeah, these are actually, this is the page um, where they give the three items that I got to rank, one, two, and three, on which one I preferred. So the other option would have been a Too Faced Hangover Primer or an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Zero, so it looks like it'd be a black. And then the product I chose was the brow product. Um, I have a primer that I've been loving really, like loving a ton right now by First Aid, and I have a ton of that left, not a ton, but I have a lot of that left and I've been really liking it, so I didn't wanna try the primer. And I don't really use like stick um, eye pencils a lot, and I have a couple as it is, so I, like I said, I really wanted to try the brow. I'm like a sucker for a good brow product, brow product, especially from Benefit. So that's why I chose that one. And then the, um, I wonder if it, no, it doesn't tell you, but it also gives you like the full size product price, um, where you can buy it. And it also provides you with promo codes for, um, yeah, for all of the products you can get discounts on all the products that come in your box. If you go and want to buy like a full size. So I like to hold on to these just in case. I like use a product up and really love it and want to go buy it, I can use a coupon code for it, which I think is awesome. And then there's the face mask as well. So yeah, and then they just give you some tips and just, I don't know, like it reminds me of just the Allure magazine and I really love getting this every month. But yeah, that's just part of why I love the beauty box. I feel like it's so customized and I feel like every product is really picked with I must said with love, but honestly, like I feel like all the products they pick, they put thought into and it's stuff that they love personally and have researched and tried out and know that um, their customers will love too, which I really like. And you can just tell like every time, like I hardly ever dislike products that come in my Allure box. I feel like this is just a video of me like talking about how much I love the Allure Beauty Box, but I just, I really do. So if you're ever like looking for a beauty box to try out, I highly recommend the Allure Beauty Box. Um, I don't know if because I'm a subscriber, if I can like put a link in the description, um, like for myself that would give us both like a discount or anything like that, or like a refer a friend thing. If I can do that, I'll go on and check. I'll do the same thing for Ipsy if you wanna check that out. Like I said, Ipsy is, more makeup forward, which I enjoy because I get to try new makeup without having to buy a ton of it. And I, um, I get to like, I don't have to buy like makeup hardly ever anymore. Like I feel like a lot of the makeup I use is stuff that I get out of my boxes, which I think is cool. Like I never have to buy a liquid eyeliner or I get mascara samples a lot and stuff like that. So I think that's really nice. Like I don't, I can always try new products. Um, but yeah, like I, I genuinely like Ipsy and I like the makeup that I get and I really, really love the bag. So I recommend it as well. But if I had to pick one, it would definitely be Allure. Um, but yeah, like I said, if I can find like a, like a refer code or anything like that for either brand, I will go ahead and put that in the description as well as I'll try to find all of the products that I talked about or that I received today so that I can link them down below as well in case you want to check them out. And yeah, I'll just have everything down there in case something you saw interested you and you want to try it out. I highly recommend it and I'm really excited to try all the products. Let me see which one. I'm like super excited for the perfume. I feel like maybe it's because I haven't gotten a perfume sample in a long time, so I'm just excited to try a new scent. Um, the eyelashes are so interesting. What else do I really like? I can't wait to try the, the gold mask. What else? Ooh, and I really am dying to put this color on my toenails. It might be weird, but I think it'll be really pretty and stand out a ton. Cause I've been wearing a lot of like, like actually right now, I have this nail polish on them. It is by Pretty Woman. I don't know if it has a shade on this. Yeah, I don't know, but I received this in an Allure Beauty box in like the last couple months as well. 
So um, you get nail polishes in Allure as well. But yeah, anyway, it's kind of, it's really pretty, especially in the sun, but it's kind of muted. Like you have to kind of be looking for it. This is the kind of color that looks for you, <laughs> but I'm excited to try it and I think it'll be really pretty. I just love purples. Anyway, I just looked and I've been rambling for over 40 minutes, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and try to wrap this up. I hope you guys like this kind of video. I know I really enjoy watching these. I first started watching them from 11th Gorgeous when they would do their Birchbox versus Ipsies. They would do them every month and I would wait for them and watch them every single month. And they're the reason I started subscribing to Birchbox and Ipsy. And I, they're the reason I love these videos. So I'll have their channel linked down below. And I actually think that they did an Allure Beauty Box um, versus maybe Ipsy or I don't know. I know they did an Allure one for July as well. So if I can find that video, I will have that link down there below. I haven't actually watched it yet because I didn't want to see um, somebody else's box before I really got to dig into mine. But yeah, like I really enjoy watching videos like this and I had a lot of fun making it and going through my box and just kind of sharing my opinions with you guys. So I hope that you like it as well. If you did or if you didn't, let me know down below. And if you want, subscribe to my channel because I plan on posting videos like this in the future as well. I don't know if I'll do it every month, but um, when I feel like, I don't know, when I get them, sometimes I they come farther apart in the month and it's harder for me to like not pull them out and like start using them and they end up in my purse and they end up spread all over the place and then I'm like well by the time I get my second box the other box is like half of it's in my purse half of it's in my makeup drawer so if they come close enough I'll try to do videos about them because I'm so impatient it's so hard for me to not open them when I get them like especially if the allure one comes first I, I feel like i'm so partial but when the allure one comes first like i just want to dig into it and open it like i got the allure one today so i was like if i'm gonna do this i need to sit down tonight and film it so that's what i did and i tried to put the ipsy one away just so that i could potentially make this video and well here i am so like I said, I hope you guys like it. If you did, let me know and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this or just more videos in general. I have a couple more videos that I'm planning that have, um, I'm going to do a thrift store clothing haul, like a summer clothing haul. And I want to do a thrift store home decor haul because I'm in the process of buying a house. So I've been buying more home decor. So if you guys are interested in seeing those, go ahead and subscribe and keep an eye out because they should be coming up soon. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you next time.